Jay Ferguson is live in Corona, Queens with more. And Jay? Right, great question, Sade. 100th Street and Northern Boulevard. You know, the manhole cover actually punched a hole in the floor of the bus. And as people saw in that surveillance video, the bus was momentarily lifted off its wheels. It's the kind of freak accident that could have been deadly. The Q66 bus was headed east, rolling along Northern Boulevard at 11.30 in the morning. What happens next was captured on surveillance video. The bus will be literally lifted off its wheels by a loose manhole cover, and the bus slams into a parked car after the driver loses control. It happened on October 30th, and Eyewitness News has obtained this video of the immediate aftermath. A total of nine people were injured on board the bus. I think it's crazy the way it jumped. Reynelda Calderon works nearby and came running. She shot this picture of the damage inside the bus, where the manhole cover punched a hole in the floor. I looked inside and saw a woman inside who was bleeding. And I called 911 and stayed there until they came to help. This stretch of Northern Boulevard had recently been repaved. One source familiar with the project told Eyewitness News that the manhole was likely damaged when the original road surface was ground up and removed by the DOT and the manhole cover never, never properly replaced. Unlike the manhole cover on the left, which fits inside a frame, the one on the right simply sits on top of the manhole. Shopkeepers were so concerned about the loose cover, they marked it with a chair and at other times with an orange cone. The cover was properly replaced this morning by contractors hired by Verizon, whose workers use the manhole. Acting MTA Chairman Jano Liebers praised the DOT at times, but not over this. The DOT was repaving the street, and it looks like there was something imperfect about how the manhole was reapplied. I mean, we work closely with DOT. They're responsible for the streets. You know, we're like any driver who's just driving along and hits a pothole. It could have flipped over with everybody inside. But it's things that happen for no reason, because if you're fixing the, the, the streets, just do it right. Well, how could it be so hard? Well, that's one question. The other question is, could this happen again? Well, we're just across the street from the original manhole. Here is another manhole over here that has the same problem. Now, I'm not going to stand on it in rush hour traffic, but I stood on it earlier today when there was a lot of traffic. It actually rocks back and forth. The manhole cover is literally sitting on top of the manhole. It's the same kind of situation that happened here on October 30th. An accident waiting to happen. No comment tonight from the DOT.